If my trip to the Netherlands has taught me anything today, it's to always do natural herbs and never let a high person in. Low German is the dialect of the northeastern region that borders Holland, or uh, the Netherlands. North and South Holland are provinces on the west side of the country and not the name of the whole country. Back on topic. High German comes from the mountainous regions of Germany and is the most common form. Low German is a mixture of German and Dutch languages similarly to how in America, Creole and Gullah are mixtures of English and West African languages. Low German was most common around Dry Valda until refugees from the West arrived during World War II. Low German and High German speakers are stratified by age now. Old people often speak Low German and everyone else speaks High German. Now, speaking of High Germans, we did actually go to Ho- uh, I mean the Netherlands for the day. Before the Euro balanced out prize competition in the area, Germans used to border jump all the time to buy cheap cigarettes. In short order, I see the following things around the city. Food automat, whiskey cheese, disapproving statue dog, Dr. Foot soda, waffle cookies, ketchup that is not tomato paste, and a Cuban cigar that I bought because they are legal here. We pass weed shops called coffee shops, but my father keeps referring to them as bulldogs. I ask him why, and he says he doesn't know where the name came from, but most of the weed shops seem to have a bulldog out front. That doesn't make any sense until I find out that the Bulldog Coffee Shop is a cannabis company with multiple franchises, sort of like a weed Starbucks. The company is so large they even have a clothing brand and opened up a hotel in Canada. Don't worry, you are not having a seizure. For some reason, their editor decided to use camera stabilization on footage that already had a watermark. Uh, I, he may have been high. I was told the Netherlands had barred foreigners from purchasing cannabis, but I saw a Sky News report that said that while the law went through, the mayor of Amsterdam refused to enforce it. The idea a mayor can choose to ignore a drug law is definitely a new one for me. Now that all those weed facts have given you the munchies, let's talk about Haribo. There are way more varieties of Haribo candy than I had ever imagined. Like in the US, there are the gummy bears. But they also make gummy soda bottles, gummy teeth, gummy berries, gummy fried eggs, gummy bricks, gummy rings, gummy worms, gummy snails, gummy hearts. They also make a lot of salty licorice, which is a flavor I think tastes like shoe polish, but people in Europe seem to love. Regardless of Wikipedia's death warning, I end today trying to find a new form of Waldmeister. This is Waldmeister flavored Kool-Aid. It tastes like antifreeze mixed with old man sweat. Beata reads the label and finds out that it doesn't contain any real Waldmeister. It's a fake flavor, like grape soda. It also doesn't contain any real sugar, so it has that fun saccharine awful flavor. Is there maybe a place that you'd like to go to? Yeah, for real me has heard about them coffee shops where they don't just sell the coffee. No. Is that possible? That's okay. Can I touch them? <clears throat> well, maybe tonight. Please, just, your may, just one, just uh, one. Um, I'm going just to get one. dressed. You just even what? Just wasted. like out of the outside, uh, outside of the clothes. I'll see you later. Come on, okay. you was wearing two bras. Oh. Oh, bye. Dutch girls, man. Dutch bitches.